Welcome. Welcome to Pouring My Art Out for the Lord. My name is Debbie and I just have a quick little project for you today. I made uh, just a little kind of interesting uh, journaling spot here and um, there's a belly band attached here. I just put a really simple belly band um, because this is getting a little bit chunky already um, but you can do a more elaborate belly band if you want. And then this um, envelope type thing um, just attaches here so that it doesn't um, fall out of the belly band. And it comes out like this and it's a journaling spot. So it looks like an envelope at this point and you could even tuck this into a pocket or, or tuck it into a belly band this way. Um, but in this way it's, uh, it's a little journaling spot and um, you just tuck it back into the belly band like that. So just going to show you quickly how to make one of these. So you could probably make this really any size. Um, I decided to make it fairly large to, to put lots of notes on, but um, really it could be, um, yeah, any size. So just experiment with that. But mine is it is 11 inches long, so I used the entire length of the digital paper, and it is six inches wide. So I just used one of the digitals in my um, Inspiring Junk Journalers, Inspired Junk Journalers group over on Coffee. Um, but you can use, of course, any paper that you like for that. So the first thing that I did is, well, I cut my paper out and then I, I coffee dyed the back just with a cotton ball, like I've done several times before. And then I scored at three and three quarters and I folded that up and then I scored it at four inches. So I wanted to have just a little bit of a lip here um, so that when I had my envelope, um, not my faux envelope I guess I just have that little bit of a lip there you could fold it right up if you wanted to you could fold it down farther you could triple fold it um, that's just what I chose to do so three and three quarters and then seven and three quarters so it could be four inches past there and then I folded that as well and then on this part I just folded this in half paper in half to uh, mark the center. So I just did a little pinch in the center here and when I'm, I want to mark this I just take my um, um, dauber and I just put a little bit of ink on that edge and then it's really easy to see that mark. And then I just folded um, these two edges down to meet that center mark just like that. So there's my center and I just folded those two down like that. And you could keep this open like that to use as, you can put journaling space there as well. I've chosen to um, paste it down, to glue it down. Super easy. And then I think I'm going to round my edges here. I did on the other one. So just round those edges. It's kind of a little bit more finished there, I think. And basically that's our journaling space. You could also put a little pocket or something in here, but I like it just like a simple little journaling space. And then you can take a, a tab, a ticket, different things. This will be in the Inspired Junk Journals kit as well. So I'm just going to put glue. I'm going to put this on top like this, just so I can see where to line this up. And I want this to come about halfway into this tab here. So I want to glue on the, the bottom here, and then I'm going to glue up on the sides. If you don't have a tab big enough, you might want not want to do up the sides, but this one works well for doing it that way. This is just such a quick and easy little project. It's hardly even 
um, I feel almost silly making a movie, a movie, a video about it when it's um, such a simple project. But so just glue it like that. Give that a moment to dry, and then this just tucks into there like that. And then when you have your journal, um, you can just make whatever sort of belly band that you want. I just used a piece of coffee dyed cardstock. I had it in the corner of my desk, and I wanted something simple, so. And then you just put this around like this, tuck it in like that, and there. So super simple. Sometimes I like super simple and um, they hardly take up any bulk in your journal. This is very flat. This is very flat. There's no pockets or anything, but it adds another dimension, a decoration, plus lots of extra journaling space. So you can, uh, like I said at the beginning, you can make them any size. Um, go experiment. Have fun. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, friends. Blessings.